Hi there, Lloyd from LloydMesito.com and today I'm going to tell you a shocking incident of what happened between a boy in, Ras uh, in Russell Kema with his teacher, okay? Now apparently this boy, I know this boy very well, he's only nine years old. Imagine this, nine years old, he was sitting in his bus and uh, it seems a couple of girls, uh, girls were his age and elder to him, were teasing his friend. So they kept teasing and then this boy started to feel upset. So the, his friend, that is my, my friend, uh, the small little boy, he spoke to these girls and told them, stop teasing my friend or I will complain to your mommy. And the minute he said that, these girls, uh, they said, if you complain to your, if you complain to my mommy, we'll complain to your mommy. And they started to argue with the one another. And uh, from teasing this girl, they started teasing the boy. So what this boy started doing is he shouted at them. He shouted at them and then the girls got very upset. What they did is they went and complained to the teacher who was sitting in the front. She was a, apparently a KG teacher. So the KG teacher, without even finding out the facts, she came to this boy and she shouted at him and told him to behave himself. And obviously the boy being only nine years old, he kept quiet uh, and the teacher went front. These girls apparently continued teasing the boy. They didn't stop. They teased not only boy number one, they teased boy number two as well. At this, the boy got very angry. What he did is, he took out a piece of paper and he started to write on it. Apparently, he was writing a letter of complaint to those girls' parents. When the girls found out that this boy was writing a letter, one of them started to cry. The other got nervous. And they started to cry. And then the KG teacher happened to see that this girl was crying. No sooner did she see that, she came, she shouted at this boy again and told him, I'm going to mark you absent for five days and I'm going to suspend you from the school. And that time you will not believe what did this boy do. This boy shouted at the teacher. He told this teacher, ah, you suspend me, I'm going to complain to your ma mother or something like that. And he also said, I'm going to tell the principal. So because he shouted at the teacher, the teacher brought this matter uh, to the principal and the principal called the boy's father who is a very very close friend of mine now when he spoke to me and told me this this is what i told him first i told him can i speak to your son and he said okay he gave the phone to his son and i told him my dear the first thing that i want to tell you is congratulations you are no more a small boy you are a bloody man you're a man because you stood for injustice you stood for what was not right and you did the right thing. When you don't do anything wrong, you should not be scared of anyone. In fact, the problem with our teachers today, most of our teachers, they think just because they occupy authoritative figures <coughs> or positions, they, uh, they can uh, play this game of fear with everyone, uh, threaten people to get suspended or, uh, uh, you know, scare children. In fact, if you look at this incident, this very incident, what the teacher should have done is first verified what was wrong checked out, heard both sides of the story and then taken a decision instead of simply shouting at one boy and you know, looking, just visually looking, oh, these girls are crying, maybe this boy is bad. No, it takes a mature person, it takes a leader to understand that you need common sense. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying all the teachers are bad, no. But there are many teachers out there who do not have the common sense, do not have self-esteem, do not have the, the maturity to know that they should not misuse their power. I congratulated this boy and in fact I told the father I want you to go to the principal and I want you to tell him the story and I want you to tell the son you do not need to apologize no you need to stand up for what is right and he, the principal needs to reprimand this teacher for misusing her authority using poor judgment and violating the basic values of this boy because this boy stood up for what was right I admire this boy in fact I tell you all students out there do the right thing. See, first and foremost, respect teachers. You must learn to respect teachers because they're elder to you. They, are, they know more about life than you. But however, if you are on the right and the teacher is wrong and the teacher is trying to bully you, uh, trying to beat you, trying to, uh, you know, misuse the authority, don't, don't bow down. In my case, I used to get physically beaten with the ruler on my face until, you know, I, I, my face used to swell. I used to get beatings on my knuckles. He used to even take this Arab skin and hit us on our legs. That is abuse. 
today if the teacher would have done to any of my students or someone who i know or if they have tried on me i didn't have the maturity to those is i would beat the living daylights out of them in fact i i don't i don't say that you need to raise your hand never raise your hand that is a criminal offense please don't raise your hand but what i'd suggest is learn learn not to bow down and one more lesson i did teach this boy is it is okay to get angry it is very okay to get angry but never let anger control you learn to control anger you should get angry yes but at the right place at the right time and in the right method when you are not angry that is a skill which you should learn so my dear friends the moral of the story is simply this a 9 year old boy stood up against the tyranny of a teacher who tried to misuse her authority misuse her privilege misuse the right that she had by using poor judgment and i applaud this boy and i congratulate this boy because this boy you know he proved what being a super boy a superman is all about and i'm reason i'm putting in this video is because i promised him that i would dedicate this video to him my dear boy if you're looking at this video i congratulate you i'm proud of you stand up for what you believe is right but don't misuse your authority don't let anger control you and most important of all is when in doubt when you are not sure seek guidance from some elder to you and i'm sure they'll help you i'm very proud of you and all the children out there respect your teachers respect the principles but more than that respect the value systems never bow down to anybody who misuses their authority and always be firm and most important be smart don't use force don't let temper control you don't let anger control you learn to use maturity and have the guidance of someone who can really uh, really be a mentor to you and guide you and tell you this is the right thing to do boy from loymasido.com congratulating this 9 year old boy for standing up for it what he believed was true saying goodbye for now thank you very much for watching